now time to travel way across to South Africa. This is a special adventure drive coming in from Mahindra. Now remember that Mahindra has been in the South African market and indeed the African continent for some time now. The XUV500 though is a fairly new entrant and has been doing pretty well. So it was time to test the Cheetah in uh, what should be its natural environment. I'm with the Mahindra XUV500, fondly called the Cheetah, in its homeland Africa. Cheetah and I will be driving around Cape Town in South Africa and showing you some of the world's most scenic and challenging motoring roads. And Cheetah has promised me a treat. Mahindra was recently named the fastest growing automotive brand in South Africa for the highest sales growth. In October last year, the Cheetah inspired XUV500 was added to Mahindra's South African product lineup which until then had been primarily driven by the pickup range. Meanwhile, the Cheetah and I are all set to begin our adventure by first checking out some history. If you're one of those vintage car fans, this is one place near Cape Town that you have to visit. And before you start thinking Cheetah and I have brought you to some old warehouse, this is actually the Franschhoek Motor Museum having over 80 cars on display at any point of time and cars way back from 1893 to as recent as 2003. But really I wonder why such an old boring warehouse style of building to how such an interesting concept really. Let's go check it out. It feels almost like finding Neverland for cars. Everything from an 1898 Beeston Motor tricycle to a 2003 Ferrari Enzo supercar, the museum is sure keeping us enthralled. But the fun is just beginning. The winding scenic Franschhoek Pass is perfect to get used to my ride. The picture of scenery straight out of a Lord of the Rings movie is kind of making it difficult for me to concentrate on the drive. And I have to say, having an automatic transmission would have helped. But that is not on the cards for at least two years according to company sources. The XUV is already among the top 10 compact SUV brands in South Africa targeted at the urban affordable SUV buyer. The W6 and W8 models have seen good traction with sales of 125 to 150 units a month. Now it's time to toss up some smoke, dust and pure testosterone. And a dirt track en route to our next pit stop is exactly what the cheetah and me needed to get into our groove. Did I mention I could do this all day? That was sadly not to be. Cape Town beckoned and as we exited the valleys, the cheetah and me are up for the most fun part of our trip yet. Miles and miles of winding smooth roads through the western African coastline lies ahead and the real adventure is really just beginning. And for a change, it's the XUV's performance and not the gorgeous scenery that has me smiling. Having warmed up to the challenge by now, the 2.2 MHawk engine with 140 bhp has been adequate on both short straight line bursts and the slow uphill and downhill bends. Okay, so we've taken you down a couple of beautiful and scenic passes as well as a lot of marine drives, but this is the one I've really been looking forward to, the drive down Chapman's Peak. And as you can see, this is considered one of the world's most popular and spectacular marine drives. And besides how gorgeous and beautiful it looks, it's also famous for a couple of reasons. A Mercedes actually went over the cliff in the 1970s and the driver survived. And also the other reason is that this road was actually closed for a very long time, largely due to the rock slides that came down this mountain. Over 700 kilometers in five days. And so now, a well-deserved break against the backdrop of the famous Stable Mountain in Cape Town. We are almost at the finish line of the Mahindra Adventure Challenge and the vehicle has kind of grown on me by now. Mahindra really needs to expedite an automatic variant and work on improving interior fit and plastics, especially with a view to making the XUV more desirable in overseas markets. Well, it's time for Cheetah and I to wrap up this African adventure. 
And where else could be more apt than the Cape of Good Hope, the most southwestern point of the African continent. Many actually consider this or mistake this for, to be the most southernmost point of the African continent, but actually the southernmost point is about 200 kilometers away from here. Anyways, it's time for me to say goodbye and like they say in Afrikaans, Tatsians. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.